What's going on, peeps? It's Wrath here, hanging out today, playing some more Watcher of Realms, and today, we're gonna finish up the Void Rift. Before we do that, we're gonna do some other things. So first, I'm gonna share with you guys, boop, over here, scroll, 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 a little promo code, okay? So, take this sucker right here, boop, take it over here, take it down here, take it right there, type it in right there, and you'll get some stuffs out of it. So, there you go. I said, oh, there's nothing there. But yeah, use that. Get you a summoning crystal and I think a large stamina potion or something. So free loot, take it, it's good. Other than that, before we do the Void Rift, I want to upgrade this bro right here. So we snagged this guy to daily summons, or daily summons, our daily sign in. And I'm ready to upgrade him because he's freaking good. He's another AoE mage. And right now, AoE magic damage is kind of our weakness. And we only really have Navros to help us with that. Whereas we got buttloads of fighters, uh, marksmen's... Kind of weak too, I won't lie about things. But we got this guy so we can upgrade him. Gonna go ahead and probably take him to, uh, probably just five star promoted five. I don't think I'm gonna take him to six star quite yet, although I probably should, because he is good and I probably will eventually. We're gonna go ahead and take him up. Boop, bop, beep, bop. Got so many of these things. But there we go, five star greet. Get him promoted up five times. Already got some gear on him, nothing too crazy. Um, I mean, it's, it's decent. I got <laughs> mythic gear now, nerds. Um, let's go ahead and get this guy promoted up to five. Unlock some of his little special talents. Um, I don't know if I've upgraded his skills at all. I may have. Doesn't have a huge attack range, but I do believe that his basic attack can increase his attack range. Yes, but it also gives him magic resistance reduction. So this is not like Mari's magic vulnerability. Um, where they just constantly take more damage. It's a resistance, re it's kind of like defense reduction, but for magic. So if you have like high magic resistance enemies, this will actually make them more susceptible to magic damage, which is good because he does magic damage. So he kind of helps himself do damage to people and that's a good thing. So there we go, promotion grade three, promotion grade four. Get that done and I've got, I think, I want to say I got like five of these suckers. I do, not anymore, I'm going to have four. Um, but I also have five of these dudes, which is blowing my mind. I've got so many mythic extracts. The game's, I don't know, it's its blessing me and I'll take it. <laughs> so we can definitely take someone up to six star six promotions very soon. Who that's going to be, I don't know. Might be Deimos, might not be Deimos. Depends if we pull one in our summons. Well, let's go ahead and get this guy upgraded to the max level. Bam, 50 out of 50. And how you looking now? 6,000 attack, that's not terrible. That's not bad. Pretty high attack speed on him. I want to have, I think he has a pretty slow attack interval. Yeah, three and a half seconds. So a little more attack speed is kind of what I was going for on his build. And I've got that down to 2.1 seconds. So that's not bad. A little bit quicker attacks. Good stuff. Not crazy crit or anything yet. Um, not going to upgrade that to 16. It's like, it's not bad, but it's not great. Um, got the attack speed set on him over here for obvious reasons, the attack speed. But he should be a good little addition to the team. We're gonna go ahead and take him into the Void Rift and not click on that. And we're gonna jump in here and begin phase two and phase three of Prologue 2. Hopefully we can do it. These things might get a little tough. I don't like these enemies at all. Um, let's go grab out the free loot that's laying around just because we do that. 10 auto fight chances, I'll take it. Definitely need more of those. I blow through them really hard when I'm doing like my XP farms. Um, but we're going to get introduced to the golems. And I hate the golems. Um, not as much as the petrify people, but I, I still hate them. So we're going to probably drop eeny, meeny, miny. You. Um, you're both mages. It's nothing against you personally. It's nothing against you personally. Um, we do have a special assist here um, with a tank. We'll obviously not be using that because it's a legendary and we don't use legendaries unless we have to just kidding we still don't <laughs> all right so this is going to be a pretty tough one if i remember correctly your golems come in up top um, once you attack them they'll activate and start walking faster your healers come in down here that heal the golems you definitely don't want to let those turds be doing stuff because it's bad news bears and then up here is where the mages come in um, and they will walk to this crystal. Nothing else walks to this crystal. It's just these mages. They come out this way and come down and in. Um, so you want to take care of them. I believe you can actually place a ground unit um, right in front of that to take care of them. I'm going to save on that for a little bit just because I don't want to get there too soon. Um, but we're going to need some serious damage in a viscerally type area. And I think... The idea here is going to be to make sure we don't get any 
of the healer bros up here. I don't think they go up two nodes. I think they come out and go like this. But these guys are really slow, so I'm not uber worried about them making like too fast a progress on us. Um, but we will be throwing Navros, I think. I don't know if I want to nuke them up top or catch them with my tank. And I might just do it like this. I feel like that's probably a stronger option. Um, I don't know if they stop and wait there. No, this guy's going to go ahead and come on in. These guys do hit really hard. Um, as you can see, they get a little faster once you attack them. And they hit fairly hard. These ones aren't hitting nearly as hard as they do eventually. Uh, but yeah, I want her to take care of these guys. Because if you don't, um, they will heal these guys up. And it's incredibly annoying to deal with that. I'm going to throw Vortex right here. Vortex. Um, keep her healed up. They do still hit pretty hard. These guys are really dangerous. Because um, they'll actually attack behind um, this unit as well. And they do freakish damage. They will absolutely just decimate heroes you put in the back. Um, which, I mean, we could probably run Wrath up top, which is maybe a little bit of a dangerous idea. But he should be able to take out these mages as soon as they spawn in. Probably end up throwing Greed, like, right here. And then... I can throw Ain behind Livia, and just maybe if they get down here, you'll have a chance to see them absolutely just decimate him into pure death. But there's the mages coming in, and he is two-tapping them. That's fantastic. They do AoE damage, so if you have, like, units stacked up on this, those guys can put a fast end to them, and it's not great. I'm not going to set Greed up here, just because I don't want him to activate those big golems too early. I'm going to put him down here to kind of help out with dudes coming down this way. He's not hitting too crazy bad. Obviously, Navros is doing more, but Navros is also 6-star, so of course he is. Um, probably can throw this in 2x now. I don't think we have too many more surprises to deal with. If I have to, I can place Hollow to heal Wrath. Don't think I'm going to need to do it. Um, I could put her up here as a slowing unit and get these guys rolling a little bit quicker. So I feel like, I think we're okay. We're going to go ahead and do that, get them a little bit magical vulnerability. Obviously, she does, like, no damage at all, but she does attack very quickly, and that's nice. Go ahead and snipe out these dudes before they can do anything. He's got some burning on that. It doesn't really say burning, like, in the description. It just says, like, 15% AoE damage. I guess it's counted as burning in the game, because, the like, the tooltip says he does burns. Makes sense. It's kind of red and burny-ish. Um, let's go ahead and just throw... I'm not going to put Hollow up there. I'm going to put this guy down here. Just in case one of these big guys do manage to make it down here and lay a slap down. Um, I'd like to see Ain get absolutely just punched in the face and die for some reason. I don't know. <laughs> May not happen, though. Honestly, Greed's doing pretty good up there. Kind of just on his own. Well, he's not really on his own, but... Pretty good damage coming out, but I'm telling you right now... These guys are an absolute pain. Um, probably the best way to deal with them is to have like a really high magic damage, either Marksman, um, like Lunaria. I'm sure there's F uh, legendary versions of magic damage Marksman. Um, but also a magic damage fighter is really nice against these because obviously like you haven't seen any physical damage hit them, but it's not much. It does not hurt them almost at all. Um, so it's definitely, definitely, definitely better to have magic damage against them. You can probably see that in the monster manual if I look at it. Yes, Iron Shell. They take 40% less physical damage. Um, so they're very, <laughs> very tanky bros. Um, there's some crazy looking dudes. I didn't know they look so crazy, but they do indeed look crazy. But there we go. Boop. Continue on. We got two enemies left. No big deal. I don't know who it's going to be. It's these guys. Um, I guess I can just go ahead and pop his ult to attack them up top. And kind of get them nuked out. And then there's the other one. Will we get him down before the ult runs out? Perfect. Perfect timing. So, st first one down. Not too bad. Uh, but those do get very tough. Especially when you start pushing the harder Void Rifts. These are just the prologue. So, it's kind of just introducing you to things. And the mechanics. Um, I'm really not looking forward to fighting the floaty guys. I hope we don't have to. But we might have to. If we do, you'll know about it. Because I'll go, I'll go, no... And then you'll know. Okay, so here we go. Another dude over here. This is, uh, oh, no! See, now you know what we're going to deal with. Um, <laughs> the corrupted tiles really sucks. Hopefully we can deal with it without too much of an issue. I am curious. I probably don't need Ain to, like, actually use in these fights. I'm probably not going to use you, but I might use you, so I'll keep you. Um, but Estrid's defense reduction might kind of work on those constructs a little bit better. But I don't know. I still think that 40% physical damage reduction is just kind of hard to get over. We are over 300,000 power now with our team, which is pretty friggin' sweet. And that's including some little bros that aren't that great. So in this one, um, the flying bros come in up top, 
and then they loop down over to here. There's a couple of ways to deal with this. Um, they're very annoyingly spaced, so they like, you can't hit both of these with one unit, which sucks, um, because if they get up here and corrupt the tile, whoever's on that corrupted tile is pretty much just gonna die, and that's just the way it's gonna be, um, and that's just bad news. So you can try to deal with like the healers that come in up here um, as they come in, or what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna try to just nuke them down um, all at once from like a down here area. So I'm thinking we'll start with a tank to tank things because tanking things, that's good. And then we're probably gonna put her here. I don't know if I wanna aim her this way or up. I don't think it's gonna make a difference because they're still gonna have to wait until they get to like the tile right in front of her to attack. We'll do like that and then we're gonna put Navros down behind her, aim the same way. And then I'm gonna stack these last two tiles here with my healers um, just to make sure if this tile does end up getting corrupted that we're okay. So let's throw this in 2x just because this guy's gonna walk incredibly slowly. Um, so let's go ahead and pop Vortex down here like that. Then we'll pop Hollow behind him. And I'm hoping that we will be good enough. Because as you see, I got tons of health here. And that attack right there is just absolutely devastating. So this guy, look at the heals. 39,000 health. Um, we can sacrifice a unit. I'm hoping my AOE damage will be enough here. Um, we can sacrifice somebody like this to attack the healer. Um, or he can attack the big bro. Uh, but luckily, the AOE damage off Navros is going to come in clutch here. But you'll see this tile get corrupted um, here in a second. And then it's going to be, this guy's just going to be gamed over. Um, probably should have made him shoot maybe at one of the guys. Oh, he's just going to shoot him. Nice. Um, see that tile gets corrupted? It just absolutely decimates the dudes on it. And that's, it's just never going to work. Um, going to save on her ult for now. I could maybe... I don't know if I can, we'll do it like this. Maybe this will work for getting these, nope. Or, see how fast that corruption comes out? Just instantly decimates units on that. I don't wanna pop her ult here because I'm actually afraid that if I do, um, she'll target the golem and not these guys. So we can kind of just keep sacrificing dudes up here to give them like a little bit of a slowdown. Although I kind of want them to get there early, honestly, so that we can take them out quickly. Because if we wait and these guys get up here with them, it's going to be an absolute nightmare. Edril's coming in super clutch right now, taking... Oh, no. <laughs> it's like, don't don't attack that guy, you nerd. That's a terrible idea. Um, but we should be okay. I think that Living will be able to tank this. But I'll throw um, this guy back here just so you can watch him get absolutely decimated by one of these guys' AoE attacks. It will probably just one-shot aim, even though he's behind the tank. Oh, it didn't. It still did good damage, like 12,000. If you get a couple of them stacked up on there, you are in deep doo-doo. The doo-doo of the deepness, as they say in the business. Um, we'll pop this guy over here to try to take care of this guy, because he's annoying me. He just keeps healing stuff. Maybe he'll take out one of these little flying dudes. Maybe he won't. Um, but yeah, if you get a couple of these stacked up on you, they will absolutely decimate whoever's behind them. Um, you might actually take one of these guys out. Yeah, get him. Now you're going to die immediately, but you know... And the bad thing is, like, these corrupted tiles, I don't know if there's a way to cleanse them. I'm going to assume there's not. Maybe there is. I doubt it. Uh, but they're just kind of stuck there forever. So that's not good. You don't like that. No one likes to see that. That guy went down. Um, now, maybe here I do want to sacrifice someone just for a quick moment. Get all these guys to kind of aim that way and then let him do a little bit of damage before he dies instantly. Um, we still got a couple of these guys coming in. This could get sketchy, so we're going to go ahead and pop Navros' ult to get this guy out fast, and then we should be okay. So yeah, these are very annoying, even though we're well above the power um, recommended for the stages. This one's still probably my least favorite to do, just because it's so annoying to deal with these tile corruptors. It's just an absolute nightmare. Um, I feel like you could probably pull it off if you had some really good marksmen, like four really good ranged units. Um, you could probably just set them all up top and take those guys out quickly. I don't have that kind of power in my ranged units, so I just stack up by the crystal and try to outheal. Um, sometimes you will get that tile corrupted that Edril was on, and you can you can outheal it, um, but it does eat like all your healers up. Um, so we got Big Bro here, just chilling on a big old pile of gems. Let's take those from him. <laughs> Shouldn't be too bad. These are pretty easy. 
Um, we will be bringing, um, we'll probably just bring you in because your AoE damage, AoE damage is good damage. We need that for these guys. Not really need, but it's nice. Um, so we can put everybody down immediately on these. Unfortunately, it doesn't let you stack the, uh, where they summon in at. So we're just going to do it kind of like this. I'm going to pop him here to slow dudes down. Um, probably put her here like so. And then I'll put Ain behind her. And then I'll put Wrath smacking these dudes. And I'll put her smacking them dudes. And then I'll put you sniping everybody. And that should be more than enough power to smoke these dudes out pretty quick. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think we're going to have any struggles here. But these ones are always easy. So we'll just kind of let it play out. Take me a little sip of juice. We'll be good to go. Uh. Uh, uh, delicious juice. Um, yeah, so we're about round about halfway through. We'll pop you, uh, Estrid's ult here to do some AOE chops on these nerds. Um, also, one of her awakens lets her ultimate have a chance to attack twice. That could be absolutely massive for damage. Wrath is actually getting a little bit hurt up there. Um, not bad. Obviously, if we had him awakened, he could also sustain himself. I don't ever really bring healers to these stages. I don't feel like they really do enough for your team to be worth it. But, you know, I guess sometimes you might need one. If you're going to bring one, bring one that, like, dual purposes. Um, like, Dolores is a healer. Doesn't heal great, but you just don't need lots of heals anyway. But does boost damage. Um, Hollow obviously provides rage regen for your team to get ults out faster, so... If you have to bring a healer, make sure it's a healer that does more than just heals, because you don't really need the heals that bad. Um, there we go. Stage completed. Kind of stage, I guess. Fight completed. Whatever. Give me your loots, nerd. <laughs> now let's go look and see if they left anything else on the map. Because, yes, I did. Grab those. I think we should be roughly like 65-ish percent complete on the thing when we finish this one out. So, more Crimson Tile Bros. That's fun. <laughs> Love to see it. Um, how do we do this one? I need to remember in my brain. I have, this is actually, I think, pretty similar to how the... I don't know if the Void Rift is always this way. Um, okay. Brain needs to brain. I believe your healers come in from these two places here to get up there to heal. Um, this, I think, is actually the AoE Mage's entrance point. And this is obviously going to be your corrupting buttholes, who everyone hates. Um, because they're horrible and I hate them. Um, but we also have um, your big golems that come in up top. So a tank obviously up top will be useful. Navros probably going to have to go up top just to deal with the, the high physical defense. He's our magic damage dealer. And um, then I'll probably end up running like Eadril down here to focus on taking these guys out as fast as possible. And then, well, well instead of just talking about it, let's just do it. So big bros coming in up top. I'm going to forego placing down a unit up top right away to get her down just to make sure. I'm not sure what the, the spawn order is here. We can put a pokey pokey to poke out these mages early. I can put Wrath down there as well, and we probably will end up doing that. Gonna put Livian down. Actually, probably right in front of the crystal. I'm not gonna worry about placing her away from it because no one's going behind her probably. Do like so. Get Navros pointed like so. And I'll probably end up throwing one, maybe even two healers back here. Ideally, one will handle it. I'll probably put it by itself. So I put it right here. Their AoE damage will splash to other units. So I'll probably put a healer on this tile and hope that we're good. So it's probably going to be... We'll make it hollow. No. They're going to attack this node. So we're going to put Vortex here because he has higher health. So the AoE damage won't hurt him as bad. Um... But we will end up placing Wrath right here to chop out these mages. Oh, they're going to wait. I should have put Ain down. It's not too late, nerds. Ain. Oh, Ain. Oh, Ain. Ain, you weenie muffin. You weenie muffin 5000. Um, we're going to go ahead and probably have to run her here. And hopefully this guy won't make it past. He might. I could pop Idril's ult here and see if, of course, she's going to attack the wrong person. But maybe it'll be in time to take out this guy. Perfect. Okay, we're good. We're good to go. <laughs> I was a little worried there, but we're fine. And I can throw this guy right here to take care of people coming in from the bottom. And at this point, I think everyone's set up where they should be. I can throw, I believe, Wrath in this node here if I wanted to. 
um, to block any from, from sneaking through the middle. Don't think I'm going to have to worry about it. And you know, I don't really want to slow him down, honestly. Or do I? Let's do it. Why not? <laughs> That's why not. Because now everyone's taking damage and he doesn't do that much. But he helps. Okay, we survived it, so I'm not too worried. Got two golems coming up top. They are very slow. So I'm not, you know, like, afraid we're going to die or anything. They do pop out, like, three mages at a time down here. They might actually be able to kill, like, um, someone up here. And if they do, that would be dangerous. We might have to just pick up this bro in case. But for now, we're doing okay. Everything's kind of playing out as one would hope. That AoE is enormous. I didn't expect it to hit Hollow back here, but would you look at that? It is. Go ahead and pop your ult. Get some triple pokies. That's good. Get you out of there. A lot of damage coming in, but we should be okay. Ooh, that guy almost sneaked through, and we cannot deploy anybody else. Oh, no, don't you sneak. <laughs> they must have decent magic resistance and or greed's not built very strong yet, and I'm going to lean towards greed being not built very strong yet and magic resistance. <laughs> I can look real quick. Ooh. Oh, never mind. They do have high magic resistance. Well, <laughs> now you know. Um, so, obviously, the ideal piece p people down here would be, uh, you know, marksmen or just straight-up fighters. I could have probably angled him this way to poke these guys as they came around. I'm not too worried about it. I can always pick up Elucas here. I don't need to because we're going to win. Um, but I could put Wrath down in this little node just to make sure no one gets through. Wasn't too bad. Went pretty well. Um, but the key to these things is making sure those corruptors cannot corrupt your tiles. If that happens, it's just going to be a bad time, and you're going to hate the game, and you're going to hate those people, and you're going to hate them. And that's just how it works. But we didn't have to worry about that. So we got to deal with whoever the crap you are. <laughs> oh, no. <gasps> More corruption. I think I remember this guy, and he's freaking annoying as balls. Hopefully we can just nuke him to death real, real fast and not have to worry about it. If I recall correctly, this stage is just really annoying to place your units on because of this little stoopy node they put right here. So the the start of the wave, everything comes in up top through this little choke point down to your crystal, and then the boss spawns in and walks like this really long circuitous route um, to your circle, um, your crystal. But you want to make sure he doesn't do that because it's bad news. But about halfway through, they stop spawning things here and they start spawning things right here. So if you build up like this choke point to stop the enemies, it just won't work. Um, these guys will walk right past. So there's a couple of ways I guess you could do that. You could say screw it and not worry about that and just tank up back here by the crystal, which we might do. Um, it seems like it might be the idea. And then... We will try to just nuke out with like Wrath and a healer, take care of the boss as fast as possible. So I'm going to throw Livian down here. Uh, maybe even all the way down here is kind of a tank. And then these guys are going to be annoying. She can attack the whole map, which is nice. Um, but I kind of want to have her where she's not going to focus on the, uh, the golems, but the healers behind the golems. So I'm going to place her like this, so once the golems get around, she'll focus on them dudes. And Navros, I'm going to have Navros probably aimed in a viscerally type area, so that he can attack everything, but especially the golems that come in on this side. And then I guess we'll probably throw Hollow here, just to keep everyone healed. And then we're going to worry about blocking this dude's path. I believe he comes in and starts right here. I think we'll be okay. That guy got kind of ahead of it, um, and died for it. I don't think there's anywhere we can really place this guy that's going to make a difference long term. We'll probably have to just pick him up anyway. So I'm going to set him back here. We've already got enough to get Wrath out. We're going to let this guy kind of skedaddle his way around the map over to where we're going to go. And then we're going to block him up with Wrath and hopefully just chop him down to death. Come on in, buddy. I am going to be your friend. But, ooh, Livian took some serious damage back there. Bro's actually taking a serious punch right now. As long as he doesn't corrupt the tile, we should be okay. Because um, he does have an ability to corrupt the tiles that your units are on. And once that happens, it's it's bad news bears. I could throw another dude down here. I think he has high magic resist, so probably not worth it to do that. Um, but I could maybe throw Mari in for a little bit of uh, vulnerability. Get vulnerabilized. Yeah! 
So I think we'll get him down before he does his super corrupty thingy, which is fantastic, because that is probably the most annoying move that he has. Um, oops. I don't know why the pause button doesn't have the monster manual, because it also has a continue button. It just seems weird to me. Um, but this guy is incredibly annoying. Um, this one, that's what he's been popping. Um, where is it? I don't know. Somewhere he corrupts things, and it's bad news bears. I'm not sure which skill it actually is, but after a certain amount of time, he will pop corruption on people that are blocking him, and they will instantly just melt and die like they did before. Uh, but now that he's gone, nothing else comes in on this bottom side, so we can just pick everyone up that's down here. We don't need them here anymore. And I can throw someone like Greed up here to, I don't know, do greedy things. <laughs> I don't think we'll have any issues um, with her dying, because we should be able to take care of these guys quick enough. As long as you don't leave the healers up, you're usually fine. The healers are what make this really, really annoying. I guess I can just pop you, like, there to do something. Um, and I guess I could pop you there to do something. I don't think they'll just turn over and smack him in the face. It would be funny if they did. <laughs> but I don't think they will. Uh, go ahead and get him moving a little quicker right off rip. Can't really see his health. Um, oh, we actually took that guy out pretty quick. Go aim. Do things. I guess I could have put Wrath up there, but... Eh. Not gonna worry about it. Only five enemies left. This went much better than it normally does. <laughs> but yeah, this guy can be super duper annoying. Luckily, we didn't have to deal with any super annoying tile corruption, so we kind of cheese through it with Wrath. But that's the nice thing about having a really powerful Wrath. We can cheese things. <laughs> but yeah, if he does make it through here, you're gonna have to stop him again somewhere else with hopefully another strong fighter. And I believe you need a physical damage fighter. I think he has pretty high magic resist. Um, also, where be the dudes? You know what I'm saying? I need to see the dudes. <laughs> because right now, they're just not spawning in very quick. Um, go ahead and poke that guy out. This will be two of them, and there should be two more. I'm assuming it's gonna be another combo. There we go. One dude left. Go ahead, game. Bring him out. Face the judge. Oh, it's another healer. All right, it's not bad. But yeah, if you let those golems stack up down here, like if you're using marksmen and stuff to try to take them out, it's going to be a nightmare for you because you really need magic damage. Now they start stacking up and the healers are on them, your chances of killing them go way, way down and their damage is pretty friggin' high. Um, so, yeah. But there we go. That was not too bad. We got through it. Little overpowered. Ooh, yeah. I'll take it. Um, but there's phase two completed. And now we're moving into phase three. I don't think there's nothing else. Take quick peeks. No, we're good. Moving to phase three. I'm assuming if this is kind of like the normal Void Rift, um, we're going to run into like petrification here. And if we do, that will make me sad. Maybe not. Those look like fish people. And fish people don't petrify. Who are you? Oh, okay. Ancient God's Messenger. So these guys are kind of annoying. I don't know if we've actually fought any of these yet. Who am I dropping? Who am I giving the old boot ski to ski? Nobody. Okay, we're just going to run it like it is. Because I like the team, and the team looks good. Um, but the key here is to not place your tank until late, if possible. And obviously, you also want to... Uh, what the heck is that maneuver? She's a slitherer. Um, so she will attack your last deployed unit first, um, which is really annoying if you're placing like healers late. She will just absolutely decimate them. Um, we can block both of those tiles with a fighter, which I think we probably will try to do if we can heal them and we can't. So we might actually just have to say screw it and just stack up here and kill these fish people as they come in. Um, we're gonna let her chill there for a second until I can place down probably like, I'm just gonna wait. I don't have any reason to put things down too quickly. Um, <laughs> we'll build up some cost here and to make sure the last thing I place down is Livian. Throw some 2x just to go ahead and build up some more cost, I guess. We just want to make sure that Olag, or we don't have Olag, um, that Livian's our last one placed so she can take some serious damage. And then we'll just put everybody else down first that we're going to place down. Probably, do they get faster when they come out of there? Not really. Alright, so we got 107 cost. How are we going to place down our units? Obviously, we want to take care of these dudes, so I'm probably going to be like Navros and... Edril on these two platforms, probably a couple healers behind, and then maybe Wrath up front with Livian behind. Um, I don't really need her to tank, I just need her to eat the damage. So we'll try something like that. Um, let's go ahead and pop you out like so. Immediately swap over to you like so. 
then pop you out like so, and then get you healing people like so, and then maybe even get a second healer out like so, and then we'll put Livian down, and we should be good. But I think we'll be able to take everyone down with just this. We have two more deployable units if we need them. Um, ooh, he actually might hit really hard. No, he doesn't. We're good. He's a weakling and a nerd. <laughs> We're fine. But yeah, so as long as you have her attention focused... Oh, wait, where the heck are you going? Oh, no! They can sneak around the back door! That's bad news bears! I didn't even realize they could do that! <laughs> we could be in trouble! I didn't realize you could be sneaky! And I can't place a fighter unit up there. Hmm, how am I going to deal with that? Am I going to just let this guy get rinsed and repeated? Because he's going to probably die. Oh, good, yeah. Shoot that nerd. Shoot him harder. Shoot him a little harder than that. Perfect. Okay, so things already got a little bit suspicious. Slow this dude down a little bit. So we got two of these dudes out here doing damage to us. But we got that guy down, and I'm happy with that. I don't think we can place anyone to stop these fish people from coming in where they're coming in at. So I might have to reorganize how I place my units down. I'm going to pop his ult for the range. He should be able to attack this guy up here once he walks on this tile. And he can, and that's great. But things are still looking a little bit suspicious for us. Hopefully we can take these guys down with her slowing them. We should be all right. Um, big bro coming in. If there's more of these ancient god bros, we could be in trouble. I am going to, for now, just place you down here to take care of these guys before they come fish people. Because fish people are apparently very bad news bears for us. I don't like dealing with them. Um, and these guys are going to cause, I think... They ca Ooh, whoa. Navraz just got absolutely decimated right there. Mm. Oh, no. He's tanked on the other side. Kill that guy. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him harder. You weak nerd. Shoot him. <laughs> I was never even worried. Um, so Estrid is going to absolutely get smoked on here. I could pick her up and recover cost before she dies, um, which I might do or maybe not. Let you stay there and you can take this person down. Oh, yeah. Okay. It worked out just how I planned it in my mind. <laughs> for sure that's exactly what I thought was going to happen but yeah we may have to rethink how we've got our dudes placed hopefully we'll just win and not worry about it did somebody sneak through or is only allow you to have two okay so Estrid is going to absolutely die I'm just going to snag her up for the cost regen and get her for coming back a little bit earlier should be alright even though she's poking this chick and she's staying alive we might actually be okay here we got, what, 12 enemies left. Here comes a dude on the bottom. And one of those farts is coming at the same time. I guess we can just do like so. And poke this guy out faster than he can get in here. Like that. Ain will die. Not too worried about it. Uh, pop her ult. She can take care of that guy. Oh, Ain didn't die. Well, would you look at that. So we got some fish people coming up top. But I think this side's okay because of having Mari here. And it looks like... oh. Ain's gonna die before he pokes this guy to death. Oh, Ain, you turd nugget. Just kidding. <laughs> You're a turd nugget. <laughs> so we're, we're doing good. These are the last few enemies here. I think we're fine. I guess we can pop his ult when they kind of get in range. And then we should be good to go. So we're gonna go ahead and pop him like this. And then, if we have to... Ooh, poopage. We can pop her like this to get them frozen. Kind of in range. And go ahead and pop her ult again. And I don't think anyone's going to make it through, but if that guy does, I'll be a little bit sad in my heart. We're not sad in our hearts, but that was tough. Um, so what would I do differently knowing how that played out now? I would absolutely not aim my people forwards. I would aim them overlapping. I guess I can't really show you, but like I said, a Navros pointing this way, I would have him pointing up so he could cover the tiles without using his ult that's by Edril. And the same thing with Edril pointing down. So they would all cover the tile in front of Wrath, but they would also cover the tiles that sneak by. I didn't even realize they could go that way. And it almost bit me in the butt. But it didn't bite me in the butt. And that's good. <laughs> so there we go. Grab this out. Easy wins. And move on through stage phase three. Phase three is usually your shortest phase. There's only a couple fights usually in it. Um, so same issue here. Not sure why Big Bro's on this. But we'll see, I guess, very soon why Big Bro's on this. So we got two crystals to defend here. If I recall correctly, and I think I do... 
she comes in on these sides and like starts building up power and that's annoying so i'm probably gonna set like oh i can't even reach that that's that is frustrating beyond words this could be not the mission i'm thinking about though we'll see it is it's exactly the mission i'm thinking it is so we can put her like this or yeah let's do it like this so i want to make sure that she does not get to summon her little i don't know what they're called um she'll do a little bit of damage here but nothing too crazy i can throw a healer on her this stone summoning that she does here she has a shield if you don't break it in time she summons like an extra little attacker which is freakishly annoying got a big bro coming in this side i'm thinking we'll just probably we just try to wrath him out like so i think we'll do wrath here to cover this side for us i'm gonna throw hollow over here as well for heals and then i'm gonna probably put navros pointing the same way that Idril is just to cover this area um and we should be all right Boop. Uh, ooh, that bro's got some hps hope his attack isn't crazy high is it no, he's a, he's a giant wuss. Okay, we're fine. Um, but we're going to have people that come in, obviously, over here as well. I don't even think you can place any ground units. Oh, you can. You can stop them from becoming fishes and jumping in the water over here. Are we going to do that? No, because we're not wusses. What we're going to do is we're going to let them become fishes, and we're going to kill them anyway. So I'm probably going to put a tank, I think, on this side. Or do I want to do that at all? Let's think. I mean, honestly, I could probably just... Let's just, let's not let them become fish. You know what I'm saying? If you can, if you can choose between letting them be fish and not letting them be fish, don't let them be fish. Boop. No fishes. But now we only got one unit left to deploy, which is going to make this a little bit more difficult because I did not plan correctly to have enough cost. Oh, he's going to wait. He's going to wait for me. What a nice guy. What a gentleman. Um, we should be all right then. We'll get enough to pop you out and I'm, if I can, yes, I can pop you right here. And this is where I want to put her because that lets Idril still shoot this tile right there. And if we're lucky, we won't have to worry about any of the fish people becoming dangerous fish people because they will be dead before they get a chance to be dangerous. Because she does like no damage, so relying on her to like actually take care of this guy would be impossible. Um, but she's got healers, she's got Idril, should be good. Ain can do some pokey pokies on this side, take care of these dudes. And I guess I can just go ahead and pop Navros here to break this shield as fast as possible. Pop this in 2x. And we did. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Slither away, turd. You almost got rinsed right there. Ain took a little damage. I'm not sure if that was from these dudes slapping him or if she shot him or something. Because I think she does target the last person you put out. And I believe... No, that would have been her. Whatever. I don't know. My brain don't work great sometimes. <laughs> we only got a few enemies coming up top at a time. So we should have no issue taking care of these other fighters. Boop. Yeah, we're doing great. And I'm not sure if... You, I don't think you actually have to kill the boss in this one. I could be wrong. But I think she just ends up slithering away eventually. I don't think she actually stays to die. She might. Don't quote me on that. Because sometimes I say things and it's just not true. Um, not because I have any ill will towards you. I just have a bad brain that sometimes doesn't work very well. Um, but... Oh no. You're a turd monkey. Is she coming in? Don't come in. No, don't shoot that guy. Come on. take that. You gotta take care of this. Or you could just keep shooting Big Bro. Take care of Big Bro. And break the shield. There you go. <laughs> you almost let me down in a very dangerous way. Um, <laughs> we'll forgive it this time. Because you didn't. Next time, you're gone. You're not gone. I need you. <laughs> but you know, a firm talking to. A strongly worded letter will be in your inbox. Um, this is the last enemy here. We should be good. <sighs> that was a little bit closer than I would have liked it to be with the old summoning of the thing. But yeah, she don't have to kill her there. She just leaves. And that's fine. Just make sure you can attack her early because you don't want her to build up those little things because the more of those things she summons, the more of those things will attack your dudes at a time. And it can get kind of sketchy, but not bad. I would say that was much easier than the, the phase we just went through. Phase two, definitely hard. We'll see what the boss is over here. We got another greed dude to take care of. And that shouldn't be a problem. Bloop, 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 bloop. Come on. Take you down. This should be pretty much the same as last time. Don't think we're going to change anything up. No need to. We're just going to let it run. And then we will win. Probably. If we lose, I'll be shocked and sad all at the same time. Um, so we'll throw Livian down here. 
I think that's how I ran it last time. Did I throw Livian down at all? I think I did. Whatever. If I didn't, oopsie poopsie. This time she's coming in. So boop boop boop. Get some estrid over here like bam bop bop. And then we'll pop in you like so. And then we'll pop in you like so. And then we'll get some some slowness and then we'll get some snipeness and we should be good pop that in 2x and i think we're uh we're good to go here let this play out mm. huh. some good juice all right pop your ability just to go ahead and do it man she hits so hard in such a big radius i can't wait to six star this chick she's gonna be a freaking monster I get the feeling she's going to be absolutely nuts for a very long time, and I'm happy with that. So these guys going down pretty easy. I guess I've got ults I can pop. I'm not too worried about popping the ults, but yeah, I guess I will. It'll speed things up by a marginal percentage, I guess. Pop him for no reason. I don't think he's going to poke anyone anyway. No, he's not. But he could have poked someone. You know, he, the thought was there. It was a possibility. Might as well give it a chance. But the last nine enemies, I think, are all big bros. Wrath does take a little bit of damage here, but not enough for me to be concerned. I think he'll be just fine. And once we do end up getting him awakened five times, he'll be much more sustainable all on his own. Um, there's been missions I've had to use him to, like, guard my crystal on the other side of the map because he can heal himself and doesn't require a healer to be on him necessarily. So, Wrath's a good one. There we go, 92% completed. After we grab this, it'll be like, I don't know, like 94 or something, 95 and then we'll just have the boss left to take care of, and hopefully we can take care of it. 92%, I lied. Ah, there's... <laughs> nice try, nerds. Okay, so it's looking like it's going to be this chick again. Yes. Okay, so I know this one, it is kind of an annoying stage, but it shouldn't be too bad. She comes out a little bit late. Who am I going to run here? I don't really necessarily need AoE damage, I don't think. Um, I think my fighter will be stronger than having greed here. I don't know if I'm going to worry about actually stopping her from summoning her soul stones or her little extra damagey dudes. I might just... Let's just try it like this and see what we got. My method for this one is just to make sure my tank goes down last. And then, because these guys are going to come in on this side, I want to make sure that doesn't happen. So I'm going to go ahead and pop him over here to poke these dudes before they get a chance to do anything annoying like that. I'm also going to pop her right here because there are flying units in this stage that come over this. And if you don't take care of them, well, you will lose. So we need to make sure that they're taken care of and in a timely manner. Okay, so just make sure that the last person I put down is Livian. That's the main thing to do here and make sure that she's well healed when she does come down. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this guy out. I may not need him, so I might actually hold... No, I'm not going to hold off on that. I'm going to go ahead and get him down. I'm going to go ahead and get a healer down, because if I don't, we might have problems. So I'm going to do like so. Or... Yeah, no, nah, I'll just do it like so. That should be good. Ain should take care of the dudes down there. The only thing you might come into problems with here is this guy and this guy together um, can be a bit of an annoyance, because if she doesn't target the airborne unit, which she prioritizes them... Um, you're fine. But if they get locked on something like this and that guy sneaks in, you're going to be in trouble. So I think we'll be okay to place down... I want to make sure that she's healed twice just so she doesn't accidentally die. I don't think she will. I just... Or do we just... Do we just not be wusses? Maybe that's the problem. Maybe we're being too big of wusses. So here comes Bro Migo down from the bottom. I'm going to throw Navros in here for some extra damage support and just say I'm not going to need the extra heals. Could be 100% wrong on that, and I may really regret that. Um, but obviously I'm not going to be stopping her Soulstone summons. You can. You can run Marksman down like right here to shoot her early, break these as she works her way up and around. Um, but I'm just going to try to like cheese my way through it with just raw, raw heals on my tank. As long as your tank is the last one down in these stages, it removes a tremendous amount of the difficulty that is the normal part of the stage. Um, but yeah, Vortex here will give her overshields as well when he heals her, and that'll be great. So I think we're fine. We do have two more units we can put down. I guess I could technically just start shooting her with her ult and break one of her deals so she doesn't get all of them built up. Oh, you freaking nutsack. Why would you... <laughs> 
<laughs> what the heckers? Why would you do that? Why, why would you look away? All you had to do was keep shooting. Unbe freaking leaveable. Minus five points. <laughs> I can't even. I can't even with you. But so she's going to summon out all three of her little booms. Not a huge deal, I don't think. I think Livian will be able to tank it and we'll be all right. Um, I don't think that Navras' ult will reach her on this square, which is annoying. I would pop it, other than I would look stupid because it probably wouldn't hit her. But as you can see, start shooting out all of these shooting as well. She's going to get another one. So Livian will end up taking some damage here, but that's why we got a healer. Don't think we'll need two. I think we should be okay without it. And then she's going to come in here and walk up on Wrath. And I think Wrath will be all right because he's Wrath and he's got a healer on him too. But once she starts getting in a little bit closer range, go ahead and pop this ult, take care of some of those dudes. And it looks like, yeah, she's still even shooting Livian back here even though she's getting tanked by Wrath. Not bad. Last enemy is her and she will go down relatively soon. But yeah, the easiest cheese on those is just to make sure your tank is your last one down. If you put anything, like, if anything dies that she's shooting, it can cause a massive cascade of problems because she will just work her way down every unit you've placed and pretty much smoke them out. Um, it's kind of like Chapter 8, Stage 10. And when you when we get there, it's going to be a tough one. Very similar concept. When you place your tank is incredibly important because if you place it too early, you can just lose the match because they just take out all your platform tiles. But there we go. Prologue 2 officially completed after we snag out this. Mwah! <coughs> Sorry, <coughs> I got so excited. I choked. <coughs> Two mythic extracts, freaking delicious. <sighs> Give me all that stuff. Look, $139, kind of dollars. Um, are these good? Not really. Is that good? That's good. Save me on that. Is this good? Not really. Is this good? I mean, not bad for a tank. I'll keep it. Um, especially like Livian with the attack speed. Kind of like that. What are you? Uh, put you in the maybe box. HG base damage dealer, maybe all right. All right, so there we go. Some auto fights, mythic extracts, bunches of crap, boom. But the most important thing, the most important thing is, is it going to let us go into the real void rifts now? It is. Aha! Let's go. Okay, so. Ah, yes, Olag, the bro I've been looking for. Um, So every week you get to run void rifts. Um, you get a first time clear reward for beating them. I understand, turd monkey. <laughs> I guess we'll just jump in real fast and do this because she's going to interrupt me. <laughs> so I guess I guess we'll just jump in over here and we'll probably skip these first, like the first enemy here. Give me your thing. Give me your thing. Not going to fight this little nerd down here. 120,000 power. What the heck? I was just fighting people at like 200. Um, but I believe... Do you get him after this fight? I don't remember. We get him somewhere. I don't know. Maybe we just... Maybe we just fight these dudes to do it. No, we're not going to fight this guy. If I remember correctly, I think it was this one. But he used to show up on the map. Maybe I'm having a stroke. We'll just go ahead and take care of this dude real quick. Like, just cinch right through it. I know the video is running pretty long. But I want to snag out my Oleg. You know what I'm saying? That's the whole reason that I'm here. Is for Oleg. Um, so we got this bro coming in up here. I can probably just run you to do the old choppy choppy and we'll probably be fine. Actually, guy hit pretty hard there. Um, not cool. Put Livian in the middle. Like so. And they'll probably put another fighter down here on the bottom. Because <clears throat> she's going to take a little bit of damage. Doop, 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 doop. And we got a dude coming in up top. So I'm probably going to let these guys just kind of ride it out. I'm going to let her shoot this side out like so. Just like that. And then she's taking quite a bit of damage. We'll pop a healer in like this. It'd be good. And I got to make sure I get somebody down here relatively soon so they don't just like sneak on in because that would hurt my feelings. I don't like that. I don't have Estrid. What a nerd I am. Whatever. We should be okay, maybe. If we're not, it's because I'm stupid. Um, we'll pop you over here like this. Should be good. You reach... Okay, you heal everybody. You should take care of anybody that comes in up top. You should hopefully be able to take care of whoever comes in over here. If you can't, disappointed. Okay, I'm just going to say it that way. Disappointed. Because I am going to just totally ignore putting more damage up there. And I'm going to put you in. And then... 
Oh, you don't hit very hard, do you? Oh my lord! Oh no, he's dead! Oh no. We're okay. We are okay. <laughs> Maybe. Definitely should have brought Estrid here. Didn't even think about having more fighters to block these paths, but I think we're okay. I think we're good. And by I think we're good, I mean we're probably good. I'll pop her down, and in hopefully 30 seconds, um, no one spawns in up here, and we can just sneak bro back out here and be all right. Look at all those souls. Good lord, that's a lot of souls. Five seconds, three seconds, one second, perfect. <laughs> What a genius I am. Let's go ahead and pop your ability to give his ult back even faster to keep this nerd absolutely slowed down until he dies from it, just like that. Not even worried. Not even worried. We'll go ahead and pop your ability because we can. Really a bad time on that. <laughs> we'll pop your ability because we also can. Perfect timing on that one. Last couple enemies going to be these dudes up top. Pop her ult. She can snipe out everyone. Bloop, 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 dead. Okay, not a problem. Do we snag out the old Olag or we have to wait a week? I don't know. Hopefully we just get him. Because that would be nice. Because I think that's where I picked him up the first time was he was just right there. Yeah, what's up, bro? Ah, welcome to the freaking team, big boy. Come here. Yeah, Olag. Give me those diamonds. Nice. Okay, so probably the best epic tank in the game. Not even gonna lie, like not selling him short. This guy's probably literally like the best you're gonna get. Freaking sweet, and we guaranteed got him because we did. Boy, I'm happy. Let's grab out. Oh my lord, game. Hold my hand a little harder, please. Yes, he is a powerful defender. I know. I'm aware. Give me the loot. Ooh. Nice. Okay, well, there we go. Got exactly what I wanted done today. We finished up the prologue two. We snagged out our Olag so we can get him building up and tanking the crap out of things. But there we go, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget, smash that thumbs up button and show your support. And I will see you guys in the next one.